What's up Cherry Blossom family? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi! My name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and oh my gosh you guys, this video is finally happening. This video is the most requested video in my channel of all time. So it's finally here guys. I'm gonna be showing you my entire lounge fly collection. That includes mostly Disney. The majority of it is Disney. It also includes Star Wars, Marvel, and Harry Potter. And there's a few bits and pieces mixed in. Now these are bags. They are not wallets. So these are crossbody bags, mainly backpacks. I did not go over the wallets just because I have a feeling this video is going to be several hours long <laughs> or maybe just a couple of hours long. Another thing that I should mention is that I don't live anywhere near the parks. In fact, I live in Anchorage, Alaska, and so a lot of the bags that I have in my collection I haven't had the opportunity to use yet, but that doesn't mean that they won't be used very soon. Just be aware that a lot of the bags that I have are for future trips or future plans or maybe even future photo shoots. <laughs> I have like placed these bags into categories for you. So for instance, if you're interested in a certain category or something along those lines, there will be chapters that you can click on if you are interested in just seeing those chapters, right? So I tried to make it a little bit easier for you guys to navigate through this video. I also hope that you find some really fun bags in here that you love. Please keep me posted in the comments down below if we are bag twins, if you, um, if there's a certain bag that I have that you really like. Uh, also, if there is anything that you think that would go great in my collection, I'd love to know like what your opinion of my collection is. Leave me a comment down below. Let's talk about all things Loungefly. Also, I've been doing Loungefly release videos every single month so you can see what's coming out for pre-orders. And so I will link that entire playlist down below for you and be on the lookout for this upcoming months because guys, it is going to be real good. <laughs> it's going to be real good. You're going to be very excited. I, a little birdie told me that there may be some seasonal things in that one. So we'll just leave it at that. But guys, I feel like we need to get into this video because if we don't start now, it's going to be several hours down the line. Thank you so much for being here. Grab a drink, grab a snack. Let's get into all things Loungefly. Let's do this guys, it's time. We're going to start with one of the largest categories and that is Pixar. Now I have a lot of Pixar mini backpacks specifically, but also note there might be a few missing because they may apply to other categories, but these are ba these bags are perfect to wear to Pixar Pier at Disney California Adventure. Also great for photo ops because Pixar characters are usually very vibrant and very fun. So check out these Pixar bags in my collection. Now this is one of my all time most favorite bags in my collection. This is the Wally bag. This bag was sent to me in a magic at your door box and I am obsessed with it. It's come along with me several times to Walt Disney World and it will continue to come because I love wearing this bag. So it's got really cool tire elements. So these tires are actually giant pockets. So you've got two big pockets on the side. I opened a Pixar keychain like mystery bag and it happened to be Eve and I was like, it just seems like it belongs on this bag. So we added her to the bag. I love that Wally's eyes have like this plastic over the top of them. He's clutching on to the boot and look how precious he looks. It's got gold hardware, a plain back to it. And then let's take a peek at the interior lining. Here is the interior lining. It's got Wally in all sorts of different poses, which is so precious. This bag will always be one of my favorites that I bring to Animal Kingdom and I just can't get enough of this bag. One of my faves. This next bag is an all over print up bag that has really cool brown details and also brass hardware. This was actually given to me by a coworker and it does have really cool side pockets, but I love how muted these colors are. It looks usually very, very bright. Um, also, I love that it's got Kevin on it and Doug. It's just super cute. Usually it's just like Carl and the balloons. So I love seeing all of those elements to it. 
Here is the interior print. It is just polka dotted. This bag was a recent purchase. I purchased this right after I saw the movie Soul because it was such a great film and it spoke to my heart so much. And this was actually sent to me by one of you guys. You guys sent this to me. So I decided to place it onto my bag. Um, it's 22 and I think that this is a McDonald's toy which is really fun. But it's got Joe Gardiner and a really cool piano with 22 and lots of little soles around them. And the bag has an all over print that is all different types of interests like rockets and it's got the uh, light bulb and rainbows and music notes. It's super duper cute. And um, it's definitely a different style of bag. It does have side pockets, which is really great. And then check out the interior. Oh, <laughs> look what's in here. Um, also, if you're a big uh, lounge fly mini backpack, collector or fan, I would highly suggest getting one of these. This is an, a felt organizer that you can get on Amazon. They're about $15, but guys, it basically allows you to completely organize the interior of your lounge fly mini backpack, and then you can use this in different bags. So when I travel to Walt Disney World, I put everything in here and I just move this from bag to bag to bag, and then it doesn't take much to move out. Um, of your backpack and into another. It's absolutely a must have if you're a big uh, Fly Backpack fan. I will link it down below for you guys so you can check it out. The interior lining of this bag is so cute. It's got all sorts of really fun quotations from the film and the different souls. It's got Mr. Mittens, Joe Gardner, 22. This bag is just so fun and it's definitely one that I have used several times. So love this bag so much. This bag is so stunning. This is the Bing Bong bag and it has so many different textures to it. It's so soft and fuzzy and it's got a velvety bow. I'll do a close up for you guys so you can see it, but it's basically the front of his jacket. I like to say that this is like cosplay as <laughs> Bing Bong. These are his legs, right? It's got horizontal stripes on the side, purple elements. Check out these backpack straps, so fun. And then the interior lining is, check it out, it says Bing Bong's Candy Tears and there's tons of different types of candy inside. It's so colorful and so fun. Again, I'm always a big fan of any of the backpacks that have lots of textures and this one sure has a lot of texture. Not sure the detail and how fun this bag is is coming across on camera, but man, it is such a gem. This next bag was given to me by a friend of mine, Chris. Um, he gave this to me because he got me as a secret Santa for Christmas one year and this is all of the different Ratatouille characters and also tons of vegetables and ingredients kind of spread all over this bag which is really fun. It's got a really tall uh, pocket on the front that is a buttoned pocket. It has side pockets on the side. It has a Remy it has a Remy zipper pull, which we, you know, who doesn't love Remy? And then it's got really pretty brown straps. This bag has been used several times. The interior of this bag is just plain brown. Now I will say the only thing that is missing from this bag is Emil. Emil is my favorite Ratatouille character and unfortunately he's not featured on this bag. Shame on you. Loungefly. The next bag is one of my very first Loungefly mini backpacks. This is the Mike Wazowski bag. It has really cute details of his eye and also his little horns. Silver hardware and it is just plain green all around. It's got side pockets and inside Inside are all different doors with Mike and Sully kind of peeping out of them. And Boo's door happens to be right there, which I love that they included that inside of this bag. This next bag I purchased from Hot Topic. This is just a basic Luxo Ball bag that's a crossbody bag. It's super duper simple. It was also very inexpensive. I got it because eventually I would like to wear this to, uh, I would like to wear this to either Toy Story Land or to Pixar Pier, but it's got all of the different Toy Story characters as like little outlines on the inside, which is super fun. At the time I purchased this, I want to say it was like $9. So such a bargain, such a cute bag. Eventually I will get to use it. And it's one of those like traditional bags that I feel like you need in your collection. The claw. Okay. This bag I love so, so much. So it emulates the claw machine, right? So it's got 
The claw machine in Toy Story looks like a rocket and it has a clear front with all of the aliens and it does have like an actual crane game crane that kind of wiggles at the top. It has really cool side pockets and look how metallic this is. Oh my goodness. I have a really cool Buzz Lightyear Disney bound that I'm going to be doing the next time I go to Disney. So this is absolutely going to be the bag that I wear for that Disney bound. I love the silver hardware. Interior lining is this same blue that's kind of up here around the edge. And then also I forgot to show you guys, it has a Pizza Planet zipper pull. This bag is perfection. I'm obsessed with crane games, have always been obsessed with crane games since I was a little girl. And also when I went to Japan, that's like all I did was go play those crane games. So this definitely speaks to my heart and I'm so excited to be able to actually bring it with me and have a really fun outfit in the parks with it. I mean, you can't have a mic without a Sully, right? So this is my first Lounge Fly Mini backpack that I have ever gotten. And this is from a Bippity Box, actually, from several years ago. And this is the Sully Lounge Fly Mini backpack. It's got the same similar details as the Mike Wazowski bag with his horns and his facial expressions. I love that you can see his teeth. I thought that's so cute. Side pockets, silver hardware. And on the inside, it's got the same as Mike, except it is blue instead of green. So it's the same doors and the same details. Here is another new backpack that I just added to my collection. This is the Heimlich bag. And yes, he's a beautiful butterfly. And he's got little butterfly wings. He's got side pocket. His little hands are kind of protruding out of the side. I have a Disney bound that I'm going to be doing for Animal Kingdom for my trip in late November. And I needed this backpack to go along with it because it is just too perfect. So it's got Heimlich on the front. And then on the back, it is just that plain green, teal, and orange. And yes, he has a candy corn zipper pull, which we are obsessed with. But what's even better is the lining of this bag. Here is the interior lining. It's got several poses of Heimlich and also lots of different candy corn uh, pieces of candy corn inside, which is just super fun. The bag is going to be so cute to wear to Animal Kingdom. Very oh, Another one of my most favorite bags that I own. This was sent to me in a bippity box. I love wearing this to pride festivals. This is a rainbow unicorn from inside out and she looks stunning with her hair. She does have a three-dimensional horn that has a glitter on it. So I'll do a little close-up detail of that. Look how cute she is. And then she's got her little glitter heart. See the rainbow hardware that's happening with this bag. Look how stunning. I am obsessed. Um, it has side pockets. This is definitely one that has gotten a lot of use. And <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's stuff in here. <laughs> Case and point. Here is the, oh look, it's the Anchorage Health Department Pride stickers that they came out with last year um, or in 2019 and also a Pride magnet. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, anyway, and then here is the interior of the bag. It is all rainbow all day and I am obsessed. The bag is so lovely and I am so happy to have it in my collection. It's just perfection. <laughs> now this bag I got for a very specific purpose. Now this pin did not come with it, but I will show you some details on this pin in a second. This is the all over print Pixar pin backpack that they came out with a couple of years ago. The main reason I purchased it was because my favorite Pixar character, Gerald, of all time, Gerald from Finding Dory is on this bag. It also has Mater, an alien, Sully and Mike. It's got Russell. It's got Jack-Jack, Forky. Um, you name it. There are so many amazing characters on this bag. It even has Coco, Woody, Arlo, Buzz Lightyear. And I got a duplicate of this pin. This pin is from uh, Disney Pin Dad. And I am obsessed with this pin. And I thought it was perfect. It is Gerald dressed up as a Little Mermaid, which is my favorite character of all time. And I thought, you know what? This bag needs needs Gerald, right? <laughs> this bag came with this really cool Carl pin. The only complaint I have about this is that it doesn't have a way to protect your pin backs. So I would get some locking pin backs. I need to get some locking pin backs for this bag. And also the interior lining is very boring. It's just gray, but I'm telling you this backpack is massive. So it's definitely more of a size of like your re a regular backpack rather than a mini, which we love. But here it is. I am so obsessed 
has with this bag. I cannot wait to someday wear this to a Pixar Pier. The next bag category is animated films. Now these films are films outside of Disney princess films. Check them out. The next bag that I have is a crossbody that's super pretty. It's got these really cool flowers on it and then stitch in a really fun little headdress, which is super cute. It's got this really cool tassel element off to the side, actually given to me by my friend Enchanted Rita when we did a swap several years ago. And then on the interior lining, it's just got little um, pattern inside and it does have a removable crossbody strap. Oh, this next bag. Okay, I have, I have ideas for this bag. This next bag was sent to me by Bippity Boxes. They did an they did an all Baymax themed box for me and this was inside of it and I had no clue that they had a Baymax lounge fly crossbody bag and I was so surprised and so excited when I received it. Now, since Tokyo Disney has gotten their new Baymax attraction, I want to bring this with me to Tokyo next time that we go, but it basically just has all different types of Baymax. Baymax holding a sucker, sitting on his booty. Um, he's in his like fighting attire and he's got, he's like jet packing off. He also, this is my favorite. Do you see him where he's like, it looks like he's charging. <laughs> I just think this is so cute. It's got a really nice navy background and inside all Baymax heads and it also has a removable crossbody strap. This is so cute. It's definitely a treasured one in my collection just because it, I don't see it very often. It's it's very, uh, very rare to see, and it also is going to be going with me to Tokyo, hopefully very soon. Next bag is actually my very first lounge fly bag that I have ever received. I got this back in 2018 from Bippity Boxes, and they sent me a Dumbo-themed box, and this is just such a pretty little bag. It is a circular bag, and it has a chenille patch, or what looks like a chenille patch of Dumbo, which I love textures, and I love chenille patches and it's got these really cute tassels that kind of hang off to the side of the bag and then it's got the logo on the back and then the interior the interior lining is very much like a circus type of print this would be perfect to wear to like a carnival or something along those lines um, but I also just love just it's actually been part of my display for many years and it's probably gonna go right back in it to its display area because I think I'll eventually use it, but I just love how this bag looks. This bag was actually given to me as a gift from my husband. This is the Todd and Copper Lounge Fly Mini Backpack. And um, my husband's favorite movie, favorite Disney movie is Fox and the Hound. And so he was so excited to find this for me and give this to me. I'm pretty sure he got it at Box Lunch. Um, but I use this quite a bit when we go to Animal Kingdom. So this is a very well-loved bag. And it does have side pockets. It's got a really cute little bone as the zipper pull. And on the back it says, and we'll always be friends forever, won't we? And then it's got Todd and Copper. Oh my gosh, oh, this movie makes me sob makes me sob and then the inside is so pretty it's got like really cute um leaves and bones and it says Todd and copper and it looks very fall like which is really fun in my opinion so this bag is very special to me so i will always cherish this bag hey another very loved bag of mine is this really fun mermaid lagoon peter pan lounge fly mini backpack it has peter as a dangle element which i think is such a cool touch and it is definitely a different shape than your typical lounge fly mini backpack it says just imagine real life mermaids on the bottom and this blue can we talk about how beautiful this blue is oh my gosh i'm living for it i use this bag all of the time and on the inside it's got this really pretty print that looks like seaweed and it also has little starfish on the inside and little um, dots or sparkles and this bag is super duper spacious and great to travel with <laughs> oh my gosh okay love this bag as well I'm a huge stitch fan and this is the Elvis stitch mini backpack <sighs> I just recently did a giveaway over on my Instagram for this bag um, and uh, and it was with Magic at Your Door and they were the ones that sent me this bag. They know how much I love Elvis Stitch. So here is Elvis Stitch with this crazy hair. Oh my gosh, I love this. 
He is so cute. And yes, he does have a very glittery outfit on, which is super fun. He's got side pockets, gold hardware. The back of the bag is also very shimmery, which is really nice. And it does have a guitar zipper pull. And on the interior lining, we have guitars and also pineapples. This is the next stitch bag that I'm going to show you. This bag is another bag that I got recently. I recently added this to my collection from the Line Jumpers. Um, that is a Disney, sm that is a small shop that sells lounge fly. I got this because I'm going to Hawaii and oh my gosh, how cute is this going to be? We're going to be going to the luau and so I actually wanted to take this with me to the luau. I need to fix stitches um, headdress though because it's not staying upright so I'm gonna work on figuring out how to do that I think I probably just need to lay him flat on his face um, but it's got lots of details in this bag which is super cute lots of fun embroidered elements I am obsessed can we talk about his little bean toes and his little hands like <sighs> this is just too cute and let's look at the interior thing of this bag is so cool it's got a bunch of Hawaiian flowers and if you peep scrump so it's not only stitch, stitch, it's got scrump in there as well, and stitches in all sorts of different poses. Such a pretty bag. This is gonna be absolutely perfect to go with me to Hawaii, and I'm so excited to be bringing it along. This next bag is a new one from Loungefly that I just added to my collection. This is the Flower Loungefly Mini Backpack. I purchased this because I don't collect Bambi, but I was supposed to be going to Dapper Day last year, and we were I was going to be Disney bounding as Flower. And so I thought that when the time came to where I was able to use that Disney bound in real life, that I would really like to have this bag to go along with it. So it's got flower and flower looks so pretty. I love his eyelashes and his little ears and his little tuft of hair at the top. And he's holding an embroidered daisy and it does have a plush skunk tail and it is removable so you can remove it if you'd like. And I love that it's got like this skunk uh, stripe element. It's got a flower zipper pull. And on the back it says, he can call me a flower if he wants to. And it's got little flowers around it. Usually these are embroidered, but it looks like this is screen printed on. Here is the lining. The lining is so pretty. It's just all muted gray flowers and blue flowers and blue butterflies, which I think is such a pretty element. See this on my Instagram at some point with my Dapper Day outfit, I promise you. <laughs> it's just probably not this year. <laughs> The next category, one of my most favorite categories, Disney Princess. Now you guys may know from my display here, I am a huge Little Mermaid fan. I'm so excited to share with you all things Little Mermaid, but also, surprisingly enough, several other princesses, so I hope you enjoy these bags. Here is the first princess bag. Now this is a bag that's a little bit of an alternative style for princesses, but here we are. It is the ice cream princess bag. Now I was sent this really cute Mickey cupcake that I thought matched this bag really well. And this was sent to me in a bippity box, all of this together. So I thought, why not just go ahead and put my bag charm right on it? And my last name is Cherry. So I love that there's an embroidered cherry on top. And then I don't know if you can see the details of those ice creams, but they're like Disney bounding as different princesses. So you have Snow White, Ariel, Jasmine, Aurora, Tiana, Cinderella, Rapunzel, Belle, and also Mulan. And what's really cool, it looks like a waffle cone, which is really fun. And it has gold hardware, and then on the inside is a really pretty, like, brown with sprinkles. Super cute bag, something I could definitely wear in the summer. I just haven't used it yet. This next bag, I really, really love this next bag. This came out a few years ago, and this is the Raja bag. And it looks so dreamy, so it's Raja with these really beautiful flowers. It almost looks like Raja is on a cloud, like he's on a cloud. And then it's got Jasmine as well. So I'm gonna show you, here we go, a really cl good close up of Jasmine cuddling Raja, what looks in, in like a cloud area, but these happen to be flowers. It was just so unique. I love Raja. Raja is one of my most favorite side characters and he just doesn't really have a lot of representation. So when I saw this bag come out, I had to have it. Also on the side pocket, can we talk about that? 
image of him. He's so precious. And yeah, so it's an all over print. It's got really nice brass hardware. And then here is what the interior lining looks like. This bag is another bag that is very, very well loved in my collection. It's been used a lot. <laughs> I just added to my collection recently from a small shop called The Line Jumper. And this is the Tiana dress bag. I have been so obsessed with Tiana lately. I just love the movie so much. And back in 2018, I dressed as Tiana for Dapper Day. And I just wish that I would have had this bag for Dapper Day because it would have been absolute perfection. These dress bags have so much gorgeous detail. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys so you can see that really pretty embroidered detail. And then look at the sequence on this bag. It's just nuts. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. Show you the top. Inside it has Tiana's restaurants, Tiana's palace, and also the Frog Prince logo. A beautiful flowers and like swirly elements. Something that I will mention about this bag, it's significantly smaller than a standard like lounge fly mini backpack. So that's something to keep in mind. It's definitely more like a crossbody style of bag, but with a uh, backpack element too. And also it says almost there. Um, embroidered on the back, which is so pretty. Keeping with dress bags, this bag was sent to me um, from Bippity Boxes back in the first part of the year. I also fell in love with this bag. I thought it would be the perfect bag to meet Rapunzel at Trattoria Al Forno. And I just love the details of the dresses. I love sewing, and so I appreciate so much all the details that went into this. So let's do a close up. So it has deboss details on the center, it has embroidery, it has lace, and also it has an actual corset on the front. This bag is so stunning. It definitely cannot get wet. I would be very cautious like taking this to the parks. Um, also, it has got really big side pockets, which is very fun. This one is actually larger than your typical lounge fly mini backpack, which is kind of interesting. This is actually made for Tangled's 10 year anniversary. And the Corona Sun is on the inside and then there's a really cute image of Rapunzel kind of whipping her hair around and riding on it and it says tangled 10 years. The next bag is my Cinderella bag. I, tr I recently purchased this from Box Lunch. I fell in love with this bag because of all of the mice and it's got all of the female mice so it's got Susie, Perla, and then I can't remember the third mouse's name. If you remember, please let me know down below. But it's got the two bluebirds, these really pretty bows, and all like this lovely gathering. And it's got a scissor zipper pull, which I love. Cinderella is my mom's favorite movie, and so um, we actually got matching fanny packs, which I'll show you next. Um, but then there is the side uh, with a, the same bow, and it's got a little cell phone pocket on the side. But this detail, guys, it's a measuring tape. It's a measuring tape as the bottom of this, like, these straps, which is so clever. And then it has Gus Gus kind of hanging on to a really cool cool thread that goes around the plaque on the back. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with the details of this bag. Um, I think that this would be a really great bag to wear to Cinderella's Royal Table someday, but I'm just in love. Let's see the interior lining. Interior lining of this bag is for Cinderella's 70th anniversary, and I will say... I would love to know if you prefer Cinderella's uh, pink dress or her blue or her really beautiful blue ball gown. I would love to know which one you prefer. I love this one because of the homemade element. So the, I tend to collect Cinderella in her pink dress if I can or her peasant, her peasant dress. So here is the fanny pack that I was just talking about. So I actually purchased this for my mom and myself for when we take a girl's trip in the future. So my mom's most favorite character of all time is Gus Gus. So this is Gus Gus's really super cute fanny pack. I love it's got a giant button. We have one of the female mice over here on this side. We've got a little star and then it has two pockets and it has that same really cool measuring tape um, fanny strap, which is really fun. And then the inside, the interior is just pink.
pink in this one. So this was actually much, uh, much earlier than the 70th anniversary. Um, I believe we got this a few years ago for us to wear together in the park. Now we're moving on to Little Mermaid bags. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time or if you've seen my background, <laughs> you may notice that Little Mermaid is one of my most favorite movies. So here is the all over print flounder and sebastian coral reef bag so this is just a really fun bag with coral seaweed flounder and sebastian kind of sprinkled in it's got a nice side pocket and we just love how adorable flounder is interior of the bag is that same flower that ariel puts into king triton or daddy's hair. <laughs> Daddy though. <laughs> this next Little Mermaid bag is the larger crossbody bag. They just came out with a much smaller version of this bag at Box Lunch. I got this at Box Lunch right when it came out. I thought this was such a cool bag. So it's got Ariel in the center looking up at the sky and then it has all of the fish from the Under the Sea song around, like surrounding her. And they are a little bit raised, so it looks like Ariel, like you're looking into almost like a picture frame of her, which I thought was so cool. It's got really neat hardware. Uh, I thought that this was so unique, like you can like rotate it around and it doesn't ever have any problems because it's got these really cool um, pieces of hardware that allow it to, to circulate. And then it's got a crossbody strap that is uh, removable. And then here on the inside is what it looks like. It is just plain blue. This is definitely one of my most favorite Little Mermaid bags that I own. Move on to my Ultimate Grail Loungefly bag. Now this bag has a lot of controversy surrounding it. This bag used to be a Disney cast member exclusive bag until recently where a small shop was able to make it its exclusive. So originally there were only 600 of these bags made and they were only able to be purchased if you were a cast member. Well, that has now changed and it's made a lot of Disney cast members very upset. Um, and so it went from a very highly sought after bag that was very valuable to not holding a significant amount of value, which um, for Disney cast members, I guess, was very disappointing. For me, who knew that they would never be able to buy it on the aftermarket from a Disney cast member, I was actually kind of excited because I collect bags for my own joy and not necessarily for value. So I was so excited to get this bag because it has original animation. It is so hard to find original animation specifically for The Little Mermaid in bags. So I was so excited to finally get a hold of this to look how stunning Ursula looks like I am oh my god I live for her and then we've got uh, King Triton's castle in the background Atlantica we have Ariel um, dreaming of being able to dance on shore uh, it's got the Disney launch flight logo it's this really pretty teal color with silver hardware it does have side pockets and then let's peep the interior the interior lining has all of the different fish from under the sea scene and it is so fun and so colorful one of those bags that's in my collection that will probably never see the parks or never see outside of this house because it was such an important grail for me to get. So this is definitely one of those collector's items that I will probably hang on to and love from afar. It is a brand new bag. Um, if you've watched my channel before, you know we love King Triton and his abs. We call him hashtag daddy over on our channel. And we also like to say hashtag daddy though. And he has got all of his daughters, Aquafina, Smartwater, Dasani, Hershey's. <laughs> I can't think of any more bottled water companies. And then also Ariel, <laughs> Evian. <laughs> Why don't you drink a bottle of yourself, Evian? And then it's got Atlantica right in the center. And I think this bag is so pretty. It's so rare where you see Ariel and all of her sisters. And also a very rare where you see King Triton represented in a bag. It's so pretty. It's got these really nice dark teal and light teal details, silver hardware. The interior lining is King Triton and all of his daughters on the inside. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this is a Grotto Treasures exclusive. So I will link Grotto Treasures down in the description box down below. 
This next bag has been a bag that I've wanted to uh, purchase for a very, very long time. This bag was available on sale on Shop Disney and I could not resist. This is the Olaf sequin bag and I purchased this because I actually get to go to Disney World during Christmas time this year and this has been a bag that I've wanted to take with me to um, Disney for Christmas for a long time because I think it's just so pretty and it's got Olaf's little hands on both sides which we love it's got his really cute little stick hair it's got silver details in the hardware it does have side pockets and the back has no sequins on it just so you're aware and then the interior lining is really cute it looks like an ugly Christmas sweater and it has Olaf and the little snow -mies, which I think are just so fun. I cannot wait to wear this to Epcot during Christmas time. This is definitely going with me when we go in late November. Category is Elite Eight. And so what that is is the Sensational Six, Minnie, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Pluto, Daisy, Chip, and Dale. So all of them are represented together. Also, I'm wearing, I, I probably, you probably may have noticed, I'm wearing my earrings from I'm Your Present. We're gonna start with this bag. I fell in love with this bag. This bag is a springtime collection bag that came out last year. And this bag looked absolutely perfect for the Flower and Garden Festival. I just thought it was so beautiful with all the different textures and all the different flowers. Let me do a close up to show you some of the detail. So first we're gonna start with this bow. It's like a really cool, like almost canvas style bow with these three dimensional flowers on it and also screen printed leaves. And then at the bottom, we have this really pretty embroidered detail with flowers. It's got rose gold hardware. This is the only bag that I own that has rose gold hardware and it's so beautiful. And then it's got the Mickey ears with that same screen printing of those flowers. It does have side pockets with a flower detail. And then here is the back. I love that the straps are like baby pink here and then tan. I think that's such a pretty detail. And then inside, it's just got plain tan lining. But like, wouldn't this be perfect? Like absolutely perfect for flower and garden. Oh my gosh, I think it's so nice. Or also maybe like a nice Bambi Disney bound. That would be super cute. This next bag is one of my newest to the collection. I got it from Very Nico. I'll link them down below. They're a small shop. It is a little bit dirty because I've been using it so much. But this is the Oliver Print Mickey Mouse backpack. And it does have Mickey hardware. Like, can we take a moment for how beautiful this Mickey hardware is? It does have gold hardware. It's got debossed M's and Mickey heads. And then screen printed Mickeys. On the back, it is just plain without any Mickeys. But then the detail on the inside is similar to that print with M's and also with hidden Mickeys, which we love. Now, what's really cool about this bag is it's got kind of an alternative shape. So it's more like a fancier type of handbag, I would say, than a mini backpack, but it definitely still holds a lot and it's super cute. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on it. So it's become one of my most favorite bags to use. The next bag that I have is a pin backpack. Uh, so this can become either a backpack or a crossbody. I got this at Box Lunch and I wanted to use this for the pin event that I went to a few years back, but I just never ended up using it on that trip. So I have it saved for another trip. But what's really cool, you can unzip this and you can place some pins on the inside zip it back up and then you have a full pin display on the front of your bag. It did come with this really cute Mickey Mouse uh, with oversized shoes pin, which I think is super cute. And then the lining is actually just plain black, but I wanted to show you the backpack straps and crossbody straps are bright red, which is so Mickey Mouse, and it has gold hardware. If you have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you may have noticed that I have a recent goofy problem and that has now spilled into adding to my lounge fly collection. So we have the goofy backpack. He has silver hardware, which makes me so happy. I love his little teeth that hang over the front pocket. I think that's so cute. And it very much is like this like epic color blocking look 
that is so goofy, right? He's got his neon green hat, orange, he's got his vest, he also has blue for his pants, and I just think this is such a fun bag. He also, his hat protrudes really far up, similar to um, what we've seen in some other villains bags that have been released recently. And then here is what the inside looks like. Now this is so fun. It says Goofy and it has Goofy's hat all over print on the inside. This is also a new addition to my collection. This is the Mickey Mouse rainbow crossbody bag. It's pastel rainbow. Also, I think it kind of looks like a pastel taco, which I'm like not mad at. <laughs> but it's got these really cool Mickey Mouse handle straps, which is really fun, and a really nice chain with a shoulder strap crossbody. And then let's take a peep at the lining because the lining of this bag is so pretty. Here is the lining. It's actually like pastel rainbow and it says Mickey Mouse with hidden Mickeys all over it. So pretty. This bag would be absolutely perfect for Pride. So I think that eventually I will be able to wear this to Pride Fest. Our Pride in Anchorage was actually canceled. I live in Anchorage, Alaska and it was canceled this year. So maybe for next year. This bag is what I call my Christmas bag. This is the purse that I use every Christmas. I got this in a magic at your door box and I fell in love with it. It is this plaid print with a quilted nylon bottom and it has Mickey Mouse looking so happy. Like look at his face. He looks so excited about something. And then it's got his little hand as like a little bag charm. And I'll do a little close up so you can see. He has um, applique details, so his tongue kind of protrudes out a little bit. And he's got embroidered eyes. And the back of the bag is just plain. But doesn't this like scream Christmas time? I love this bag. So on the inside it has Mickey Mouse with little hidden Mickeys as the detail inside. So it has so much room to be able to put like purchases and things when you go shopping. So I love a large bag, especially during the Christmas season. So we are so here for this. This next bag I wore to the Cruella premiere and actually I did a day in the life video uh, with this bag where I carried this bag around. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it above and down below for you guys. But this is my all over black and white polka dot Minnie Mouse mini backpack. I got this at Box Lunch. Um, I actually got this at Box Lunch to wear at my last Disney trip and I just fell in love with how classic it looks. So what I love about it is it has Minnie Mouse's face outline. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So it has her face outline. So it's definitely supposed to emulate her, which I think is really cute. It's got little mini ears and it's got a plain red front pocket. It does have side pockets, which I love. The back happens to be plain. And then let's take a peep at the inside. So here is the inside of the bag. It is red and white polka dot. So classic Minnie Mouse. This next bag is another one of my favorites because it's so versatile. I actually wore this at my last Disney trip and it has, it really needs to be cleaned up. I'm sorry guys, I didn't, I didn't clean every single purse before I did this video, but it has Daisy Duck on one side and then has Donald Duck on the other side. And this bag, it does have where you can move your crossbody straps on either side of the hardware at the top. So you can choose which character you want to face everyone behind you when you're wearing it as a backpack. Also, you could probably rig this up to where it could be a crossbody bag as well. I love the versatility in this bag. And I love, I wore this to Disney Springs and during my last trip and I got a lot of compliments on it as well. Here is the inside of the bag. It's got Donald and Daisy all over inside. Super duper cute bag. It is, it is quite a bit smaller than a lounge fly mini backpack. So keep that in mind if you wanted to purchase this bag. Now this bag was just too silly to pass up. I got this at box lunch when box lunch money was happening because I thought it was hilarious. This is actually the, um, elite eight, but it's their butts. And I just thought this was 
freaking hilarious. So it's got Daisy Duck, Mickey Mouse, Chip and Dale, uh, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, and I just thought this was too perfect. The only one that they're missing is Pluto and also Goofy, um, but it's got really fun orange accents. It's got silver hardware. It's such a unique looking bag, and also it's got this like large compartment in the bottom, which I appreciate. And then on the back, it's got that same all over print. I haven't really found where I should wear this yet, like where the perfect place to wear this is, but I'm very excited to have it in my collection. And then there are all the names of all the characters that are on the front of the bag. Now this next bag is so pretty. This is a Minnie Mouse crossbody bag that is so extra and so pretty. It has really cool circular handles in the middle of Minnie Mouse's bow. It's black quilted. It's got these really fun polka dots and also Minnie Mouse is on the bow, which is really fun. It is a very unique shape. Here is the lining on the inside. It has a Minnie Mouse in several different poses, which is super cute. This would be the perfect date night bag to go to Disney Springs. Um, I definitely will be taking this on a future trip. This was from a Bippity Box as well. Now, this bag is also another one of my most favorite bags. I just recently purchased this bag. It is the Mickey Mouse ice cream sandwich bag. And yes, it's got like a white ice cream and also sprinkles all the way around and it's got debossed mickey mouses on it it is such a cool bag it's also very very large which i appreciate it's got gold hardware and it's got this really pretty gold crossbody strap uh with the little shoulder uh, shoulder protector. Inside of the bag is sprinkles and there are some hidden Mickeys kind of sprinkled out. Kind of sprinkled throughout the inside of this bag. Another one that could be a super duper cute uh, date night Disney Springs type of bag or like going out type of bag in the summertime because oh my gosh how adorable is this? I love this bag. The next category is Star Wars and Marvel. Now I will say there's not very many of these bags. There's actually only two, one in each category, but be on the lookout for an upcoming haul video because I have recently become obsessed with Iron Man and all things Avengers and I'm so excited to be part of that fandom now. Here is the next bag. This bag is the Marvel All Over Print Emblems bag, and I added this really fun handkerchief from Box Lunch that has the same emblems on it. And this has all of our favorite characters, like Captain Marvel, Iron Man, right in the middle, which is my favorite. Here is the back. It has the Marvel Lounge Fly logo. It has a really pretty uh, gunmetal coloration on the hardware, which I love. And then on the inside, it has all of the names of all of our favorite Avengers on the inside, which is super cool in this like black and red print. I'm actually getting ready to change into this bag from my Dooney that I'm using right now. So that's why I got it all ready with the handkerchief on it. So you may see some Instagram stories um, of me carrying this around. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Miss Jessie Cherry. I'll link it down below. I'd love to become your friend over there, by the way. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely coming with me when I go back to work on Monday morning. The one and only Star Wars bag that I have happens to be this really cute Grogu backpack. I fell in love with Grogu, kind of like I think all of America did. And this is from my friends over at Magic at Your Door. They sent this over to me and I just love it. I wore it to Galaxy's Edge during my last trip and it's got a really cute frog zipper pull. And oh my gosh, look at the detail of Grogu in this bag. It's so stunning and it looks like he is inside of his pram because here's like the edge where the thing, the shield actually folds down around him. It unfortunately doesn't have any side pockets, but this is just too precious and the inside is even better. Look at the inside of this bag. Oh my gosh, this lining is so fun. It's got Grogu in all sorts of different poses, him eating a frog, a sad frog around him, him and his pram. How adorable is that? The next Next bags I'm going to show you are from our favorite wizard, Harry Potter. I have a few Harry Potter bags that I have to include. Here is the first bag that I'm going to show you. This is the Harry Potter 
all over print tattoo bag and it's got an all over print gray um, background but what I love about this so much is that they incorporate roses all over this bag which I am a huge fan of roses it's actually one of my most favorite flowers and was the type of flowers that I had at my wedding and it says Harry Potter lounge fly on the plaque Outside of the roses, my other favorite part of this bag is like how they made a snow globe out of Hogwarts. I just thought that was so clever. I've never used this before, as you can tell. Um, I got this in a Bippity Wizards Vault box. And then here is the letter to Hogwarts with the roses as the accent on this, which I thought was super cool. And then inside, it's a little bit hard to see, but the lining is all of the outlines of what is on the outside of the bag. It does have little magnetic clips here and a removable crossbody strap. Here is the next bag. This is the Luna Lovegood Fun.com exclusive bag. This bag is actually one of the newest of my collection. I love it so much. It has her spectro specs, which I think is so cool. And also I wanna show you this detail. Look at that gold detail. Such a pretty detail on this bag. And then it's got all sorts of fun emblems. It's got birds and horses and balloons and stars and circles. It's very Luna, right? And then it does have the uh, side pockets, which we love. Really fun neon green accents. And then check out the back of this bag. It says, I suspect nargles are behind it. <sighs> this is just too cool. So here is the Luna bag. Let's check the lining because everyone loves a good lounge fly lining, and here it is. It is just horizontal, colorful print. The thing that I will say about this bag, Fun.com also released sneakers that match this bag exactly. They look very much like Converse sneakers. They are so cool. I will link this haul above and down below for you so you can check out the sneakers because I do have the matching sneakers, which is really fun. The so. last Harry Potter bag I have is Magical Beast. It's actually a little bit larger than a typical lounge fly mini backpack. It's an all over print with all sorts of really fun magical creatures. My favorite magical creature of all time is a Thestral, so it does have a Thestral here, which I was very concerned about getting that on the front of my bag, but I actually got two, so I was very happy. Then there is a snake, we have Fox, uh, the Phoenix here, Buckbeak, Hedwig, and then a lot of really pretty flowers. It does have really nice side pockets, bronze hardware, a flat front pocket. And then let's check out the interior. Here is the interior of the bag. It says Harry Potter and has those same flowers as the front. I love that it's red too. It's a great accent to this bag. The next category is one of my most favorite categories because I use these bags often. This is my Disney park and attractions specific bags. These are bags that you'll see with me in Disneyland, Disney California Adventure, Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, all the Walt Disney World Park. Here is the first mini backpack I'm going to be showing you from the Disney parks. Now something to note about this bag is that this bag came out in 2019, but they released a bag almost identical to this in 2021 that has a dark blue background. So keep that in mind when you're looking for these, if you're looking on the resale market. Um, this one is a little bit older. And it has all different types of emblems from the park, which is super fun. My biggest concern was getting Big Al on the front of this bag, so I was so happy to have him. Small World, we have Keith, uh, the dog that holds the keys on Pirates, Goofy, Dumbo, the Pirates emblem. We've got turkey legs, churros, we have side pockets, which we love, gold hardware. And then what's so cool on the back of this bag is that we have a really good picture of the Cinderella Castle, which I love. Also also, they do have a version of this that is Disneyland, just so you're aware. So you will find these in both Disney World and Disneyland versions. Mickey Pretzel, which is my favorite. And then let's take a peep at the lining. And the lining is just a plain stripe. I would call this a Dapper Dan stripe. This bag is very well loved. And in fact, it still has my <laughs> hand sanitizer and also my water bottle holder and some hair ties. So this definitely is one that gets a lot of use. This next bag was given to me as a gift from the Disney sisters and I will link their channel down below. This is an all over print figment bag that was for Epcot's 35th anniversary. Um, Abby and I share a love of figment and when they drew my name for a 
a box swap. They sent this my direction, which was so amazing. So here we have it. It's really pretty. It's like brown with gold hardware. It has these really unique zippers. These are definitely not typical zippers that you would find on Loungefly mini backpacks. It does say Epcot 35. Loungefly uh, plaque. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Now I'm confused. Okay, yeah, there's like no indication that this is Loungefly. Oh, no. Okay, well, maybe I'm lying to you guys. I'll do some research and let you know if it actually is lounge fly or not and then it has a purple epcot emblem on the inside which purple is my most favorite color so figment and purple we love both of those things but it's a really beautiful bag i would love to show it to you anyway regardless of if it is lounge fly or not and um so thank you over to abby and hope for sending this to me as a gift it's such a beautiful figment bag <sighs> this next bag is definitely one i think it's probably the bag that has the most worth of my collection. This is the Sleeping Beauty Castle Loungefly mini backpack. This came out in 2019. They also have a Disney World version. And so it's got Sleeping Beauty Castle with the new coloration that they did um, a couple of years back. It does have some fireworks in the background. It is metallic gold, just so you can get a little closer look at the details. And what's really cool is it does have, <laughs> there is a little sparkle inside of there. Um, it does have spires on the side of the bag where you can place um, your phone on both sides. I thought that was a really cute detail. The back of the bag is actually plain. And then inside, this lining is so beautiful. It's got all of the different emblems for Disneyland and also Disney California Adventure, including all of the different attractions like Autopia and also their opening dates. So the inside of this bag is like a plethora of history and it's so pretty. I just, I love the inside of this bag so much. This is also a bag that gets used a lot, especially when I go to Disneyland. So this is one of my favorites. This bag is actually from Alani. This is an Alani lounge fly bag. This is Duffy and Friends in all of their different Hawaiian outfits, getting ready for, it looks like a day on the beach or maybe a day at a luau, I'm not 100% sure. And I bought this because we are gonna be going to Alani in October of this year, and I needed a backpack to go along with me. So it does have uh, side pockets, which is lovely. Gold hardware, this really beautiful teal color. And then let's check out the lining. The lining is just plain teal. I cannot wait to get to Alani to be able to use this. Also, I'm hoping that we may be able to meet some Duffy and Friends, maybe Olu. Maybe we can meet Olu while we're there, which would be super duper exciting. But Hawaii cannot come soon enough. The next attractions bag is this gorgeous Minnie Mouse Main Attractions Jungle Cruise bag. Now, I didn't love Minnie Mouse Main Attractions in general, but for some reason, this bag really spoke to me. I love I love a bold print. I love a, I love a vertical stripe. I love, love, love leopard print so much. And when I saw the, this design come out, I had to get it. Um, unfortunately, I did not get on the Merch Pass system, so I did have to buy this aftermarket. But I actually found it where it wasn't too bad, thank goodness. So I was pretty pleased about that. But it has sequin details. Also, I'm not sure if it's picking up. But the leopard is fuzzy, which is really fun. We have a suede bow, and then we have this really cool um, elephant emblem and also some spears. And it's got gold hardware. It's got another like canvas-like texture on the side with suede for your side pocket, which I have to say, like all of the textures of this bag is like so aesthetically pleasing to me. And then here is the back of the bag. I have not used it yet. It still has its Minnie Mouse main attractions tag, which those tags are kind of notorious for being giant because these are <laughs> these are the same size tags that they use on the ears but isn't that cute waged by tramp steamer down several major rivers of asia africa and south america on the jungle cruise the adventureland attraction opened on july 17th 1955 in disneyland park on your excursion you'll ex you'll encounter audio animatronic jungle animals wet water, and dry wit courtesy of your skipper. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. Okay, so here is the bag. This is perfect for Animal Kingdom, and I actually think I'm gonna be taking this on my next trip 
to wear there. Here is the next bag, guys, the Three Caballeros bag. This came out last year, um, and this is such a fun bag. So you have Donald Duck at the bottom, Jose and Panchito, and I'm gonna tip it so you can see. Each of them are their own pocket. I actually received this from Bippity Boxes in a box. Um, also, can we peep that interior lining? Oh my goodness, it says Three Caballeros. It's got really fun confetti, guitars, maracas, sombreros. It's got an umbrella. Super duper adorable. This bag can hold so, so much. I love that about this bag because all of these pockets are super deep. And then you have your main back pocket, which is everything. It does have side pockets and all of the hardware is in gold and the back of it is plain. This I wear at Epcot often and so this is another very used bag of mine. This next bag is a very <laughs> unique bag. This is the uh, 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion crossbody hat box ghost bag. <laughs> and it's got a lenticular figure of the hat box ghost inside. So it is a hat box, as you can see. And it does have a crossbody strap and a little handbag uh, handle at the top as well. I love the concept of this bag. Uh, that's about all. <laughs> the thing that I don't love about it is that this plastic is so so it just doesn't hold its shape, as you can see. So it's like very um, wrinkled and I have done everything. I used to stuff this bag with paper just to keep its shape and it still didn't work. But I wanna show you the lenticular because it's so pretty. So here is the lenticular figure of the Hatbox Ghost and it does have, as you can tell, it just clips in here so you can take it out. Um, but there's Hattie doing his thing. And I love the Hatbox Ghost. I'm a big fan of Disneyland and Disneyland's a version of the Haunted Mansion. So um, I thought that this was a must have for my collection. And so thank you so much over to the girls over at Bippity who got this for me uh, when I requested it because it was a really hard to find. Um, so yeah, there is my Hatbox Ghost bag. Oh my gosh, my most favorite category. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I have a deep love, a deep, deep love for all things Disney Halloween. These bags are Disney Halloween themed. These bags often travel with me because I go almost every single year to Disneyland and Disney World for the Halloween festivities. And you'll have to let me know down below which one is your favorite because there are so many fun Halloween bags. Here is a Thackeray Binks lounge fly crossbody bag. This bag was sent to me in a Halloween box from Magic at Your Door. Also, if you didn't know that it was Thackeray Binks, like it definitely could just be a spooky Halloween cat, which is super fun. And on the inside of this bag, it's all black and white stripes. It does have a crossbody bag that, or crossbody strap that you can use as well. Uh, but it's a really fun, basic black cat bag. I used to have a black cat, so this like makes me very reminiscent of when I had him. And so I really love this bag. This bag is my pride and joy. I bought this bag in August of 2019 at the parks, like the day that it came out. And it is one of my most favorite bags. Disney Halloween is my obsession and I use this all the time especially during Halloween time and this is all embroidered details at the top including his little stem as well it's got gold hardware side pockets it's very well loved if you can tell it needs a good cleaning and then the inside is super cute it is all different types of like Halloween elements. It's got spiders and skulls and Mickey pumpkins and Mickey lollipops and candies and bats. Super cute. Ooh, a penny. <laughs> was added to my collection last year. It was sent to me by Magic at Your Door. This is the Mickey Mouse Ghost Mini Backpack. It glows in the dark so well. I will insert a video of it. It has an embroidered little boo on the back. Silver hardware, it doesn't have side pockets. 
And then can we talk about the most adorable interior? Like, look how cute Ghost Mickey is. It's Ghost Mickey and Bats and little hidden Mickey. One that I will take with me to Disney Halloween at some point. This is actually my most favorite lounge fly backpack I own, which I know will surprise a lot of people, but man, I love using this backpack. <laughs> I get so many compliments on it. It is so largely spacious. Like this, I don't know how, but this, this bag is easily one and a half times the size of a lounge fly mini backpack, which is incredible. It has this little body at the bottom, which I think is super fun. It's completely flat, uh, but I just think he looks so cute and so striking, right? He's got debossed details all over him, including his pinstriped suit. And then there is a, uh, there's the duck <laughs> zipper pull and it's got black hardware, which we love. And then here is what the interior looks like. It is just that duck with the bullet holes in him. And this bag was one that I wore to the last Disneyland Halloween trip that I went on, which was in 2019. And I will definitely be traveling with this bag. This again. bag just arrived. This is a brand new LA Style Rush exclusive Halloween Mickey Bat backpack. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And so he actually has movable wings. He can be either a crossbody or a backpack, which is super fun. I love the versatility of that. And I just think he's so precious. I'm going to be going to Boo Bash this year. This is the bag that I've chosen to come with me on Boo Bash just because I think he's just so cool. Also, I love how his fangs are like poke out uh, and they are three dimensional, which is really fun. The interior, the interior of this bag is just white Mickey heads with white bats. I just added this bag to my collection. This is the Yzma mini backpack and she looks so evil. I love the details that they have in her face with the embroidery and also those yellow teeth, which cannot be denied for Yzma's kind of interesting appearance. <laughs> it has silver hardware, which actually silver hardware is my favorite hardware in lounge fly bags. And then on the back, we have Devil and Angel Kronk. <laughs> I absolutely love. They are screen printed on there. I kind of wish that they would have done like embroidery, but I do still love that they added this detail on the back. The lining of this bag is so fun. It is the extract of llama and it's in all different colors and in like a really cool tribal print. Such a pretty bag. This bag will be perfect for a villain's night or a Mickey's not so scary Halloween party in the future. I would like to introduce you to my grail. <laughs> this bag I have been obsessing over and wanting and hoping that it would come to fruition and this year it did. I actually just received this a couple of weeks ago. This is the Lotso backpack and it is so incredibly soft. Like I can't even describe how soft and lovely this is. Also, it smells like strawberries. I wish I could waft that over your way, but it is a very strong smelling of strawberries. It has the Pixar lounge fly plaque on the front, a really cute strawberry zipper pull. It does have really fun gold hardware. And on the back, it has embroidered, you've got a play date with destiny. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Lotso is my all time most favorite villain, Lotso and Ursula. Both are my favorites and I'm so excited to add him to my collection. For those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know I have a stuffed Lotso that travels all over the world with me. <laughs> and so I am very, very attached to him as a character. So uh, he's got some really cool 3D elements that I'll show you, so I'll turn the bag to the side. His nose protrudes, his ears hang out. Let's check out the lining. Oh my gosh, you guys, the lining of this bag is so pretty. So it's got hearts and it's got lots of faces and strawberries. I am obsessed with this. I will be taking this on my next Walt Disney World trip to have during the Boo Bash. We will get some really fun pictures, hopefully, and also be able to meet him as well. Fingers crossed. There's, there's not been any rumors that he's going to be there, but I'm holding out hope. This next bag is another one of my favorites from my collection. This is the Ursula bag, and actually I got this back in 2019 from a Bippity subscription box. And 
I wore this to Villains Night when we went to Villains Night back in 2019 and I got so many compliments on it and it really is quite the epic bag. So it's got Ursula in all of her evil glory, her ridiculous makeup, her giant red lips, her beautiful she style earrings, and then also she's got her tentacles that hang out. Ooh, I need to clean this bag. There's a few scuffs on it. <laughs> also, if you need to clean your bag, just throwing it out there, Magic Eraser works wonders. We'll get any blemishes or anything out of this really easily. So it has a very large protruding hair at the top. Let me turn it around and show you. See how far the hair kind of protrudes out the top. Have gold hardware, it does have side pockets. And let's look at the lining of this bag. It is just a purple polka dot. Also, such a used bag for me. I have used this bag so many times. It actually feels really, really worn in. So I'm actually kind of impressed that the tentacles still have some shape, to be honest with you. But here is my beautiful Ursula bag. From that same collection came the Hades bag. Now this Hades bag was recently released within the last year. I also got this from a Bippity Box um, this bag is so stunning. If you are a Hercules fan, this bag should come home with you. It is just so epic. So it has like the part of his toga and it actually has like a three dimensional piece where it looks like it's been tied, which is super fun. Silver hardware, the Disney lounge fly plaque. I always like to show the detail of the faces of these bags with the embroidery. It's so pretty. And then he also has a large piece of hair that kind of protrudes from the top. His is even taller than Ursula's, which Ursula's is pretty pronounced. So storing these bags can be a challenge. If you can put a piece of cardboard back here, it definitely helps keep their hair upwards, which is really nice. On the back, it says everybody has a weakness. It is embroidered, which is really pretty. And then let's take a look at the line. So here is the lining of the bag. It's the Hades emblem and some really cool like kind of like tribal print inside. It does not have side pockets. That's the only downfall of these types of this bag in particular in my opinion. But he is so cool looking. Last but certainly not least, we have Christmas bags, which I'm so excited to show you. There are only two bags in this category, but they are both Disney Parks exclusives, and I think you guys are gonna love them. And P.S. I get to use them this year, which is so exciting. I'm going to Disney for Christmas. Now this bag is one of another one of my most favorites from my collection. I've never been able to use it because I have not been to Disney Christmas since 2017. This bag is finally going to be used this year. This bag is so pretty. It has fur around Mickey Mouse's face. It also has a velvet for his jacket. It has a three dimensional like actual belt for his Santa suit. And it is just so gorgeous. Look at the metallic handles and backpack straps. It's also got little metallic details around the zipper and around the side pockets. Is there a more perfect bag for Christmas? The answer is no. And then inside, is so pretty. It's all different types of snowflakes and Mickey heads. I'm just so happy. I'm so, so happy to have this bag in my collection and I'm so ecstatic to be able to use it again use it this year. I want to say I've had it for at least three years. So <laughs> finally it will get used. Yes. And here is another Christmas backpack. I am going to bring this one as well. Here it is. It's the treats backpack from Disney World. So it's got the Disney World castle on it. And then it's got uh, Mickey and Minnie like popsicles maybe. And then the caramel apple. It's got sugar cookies. It's got peppermints and gumdrops. It's a really cute all over print bag lovely side pockets and then it has a lining that says season sweetings which is super duper cute and then it's got all different types of treats inside and this was sent to me by bippity boxes so i'm excited to be able to bring this guy with me as well so we can get some fun christmas times in at the parks
Oh wow guys, if you made it this far, you are the real MVP. If you did, leave a little backpack emoji down below so I know that you made it to the end. If you did, I'm I, thank you. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I hope that it was everything that you hoped for if you requested it. I had so much fun putting it together for you and finally getting it out to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any more requests, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to do videos that you guys want to see. Remember to subscribe down below for lots of fun Disney content, Disney vlogs, DIYs, haul videos, mystery unboxings, you name it, all things Disney. Thank you so, so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!